So it's been a fun day on Twitter today. I've never been involved in IRL streaming before, but I've obviously made content on YouTube. I've streamed on Twitch. I've done it for like four to five years now. Over these last couple of years, there's been kids that have been getting involved in IRL streaming, and all they do is just go around being toxic to everybody. Because apparently they think that that's cool. When in reality, they're just a plague on humanity. You've got your Neons, you got your Jack Doherty's, and now you got this goofy little kid that I'm going to show you that apparently is like 14 years old. And it just blows my mind that people think that this is what's cool. And not, not only the person that's out there doing it, but the people that watch it and champion it. And like, oh yeah, this is so crazy. I'm watching this guy stream. And, and they get popular and they make millions of dollars because they're dickheads. Why do you have to do it at the expense of every person that you come across? I'ma just chalk it up to bitch made syndrome. Like that's, that's gotta be what it is, they're bitch made and they have no idea what else to do in life. They don't think they're gonna be successful in any other way so they feel like, you know what? I need to thrive off of other people's misery and they do it for views. That's what it's all about. It's anything for views. Anything for the hey, content. You are ready, bro. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Y'all be safe out here. Anything for the content. <laughs> What are they saying? So that's the little goofy bastard that I'm talking about today. And I happen to see him going viral on Twitter, which unfortunately doesn't even mean that anything bad is going to happen. He's probably going to grow even more. Now, I saw that he was banned on kick. I don't know if it's permanent. I hope that it is. But if it's not, he's probably going to come back to his stream and have double the amount of people watching him. And he's just going to continue to do this kind of shit that we're about to watch to other people. And, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to stop it. I'm, I'm kind of going to blame Ice Poseidon because he really is what blew up IRL streaming, if I'm not mistaken. I remember watching his streams back in the day a little bit. Thankfully, he wasn't really too shitty to random people that he saw. He would just kind of bring people on that were viewers that wanted to be a part of it and kind of treat them shitty, which, you know, is not great either. But they, they kind of signed up for it, right? Like they knew what was going on. They wanted to be a part of it. They'd go on like these RV trips and all sorts of wild stuff. There was one bad one on there, though, Marie or something like that. I think she used to be like a Playboy bunny. I could be wrong, but she, yeah, listen, she looked good. But anyways, that's off topic. So that was really what sparked a lot of people wanting to do IRL streaming. Now, I'm sure he may not have been the first, but I feel like he was the biggest at one point, and it really started to push that, that narrative that this was something people could do. And a lot of people got into it, and, and it wasn't toxic, and it was people going around and trying food, and like it, it was actually cool. The community grew, and I, I feel like there was a lot of good content that came from it. And then I don't know where we went left. I don't know who it was that started it, but I know that we have people like Neon and Jack Doherty, and, and they're just toxic, shitty little people who think that they're the coolest thing in the world, and they get gassed up by these people that watch them, that enjoy it, and it's like there's nothing you can really say to them because they're making millions, and it doesn't really matter. And if any of his fans find this video, they're going to be, oh, you're, you're jealous. Oh, you're this or you're that. Like that, that's, that's how they look at it. This is the world that we live in nowadays. Anything for any views is just what people will do. And they'll risk their life on TikTok. They'll eat Tide Pods, right? Like we had that whole era. Like we go through these different eras. And hopefully this is going to end at some point. But I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> Put your hand in my food again, and I'm, I'm throwing all of your phones. You're not touching our phones. Don't put your, don't put your hand in my food again. Do not do that. Yeah, you don't not. do that to people. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Stop filming me. So this little dork decided he was going to walk down the street and just reach into some lady's food, grab it, and walk off. And I commend her for standing up for herself and being like, you know what? I'm not going to let that happen. I'm going to actually go and I'm going to confront them. Now, obviously, I'm sure the whole chat was like, She's a Karen. Look at the way she's acting. She tried to grab your phone, but I would argue she's she's not a Karen. She's someone who doesn't want someone's hand in her food and doesn't want to be disrespected just because you want to get a couple of views online and try to look good to a couple of random people that are sitting at home munching on Doritos and wiping them on their pants. I like the fact that she stepped up and, and thankfully nothing happened, but these kids look like they were ready to swing on her. I'm like, yo, bro, like whether you're 14, 15, like whatever age you guys are, like that's crazy to me. And it's wild that th this is what it is, and it just gets more and more extreme every time one of these new young kids come out and they start streaming. And I feel like it's just going to continue down that path. Like, where are we going as, as an online community? This is more so a part of, like, our world as far as streamers, content creators. Like, it makes all of us look bad. If someone doesn't know YouTube much, they don't know much about Twitch streams or Kick or, like, any of that stuff. And this is what they come across. Somebody like that or someone like a Neon or a Jack Doherty. They're immediately going to start to look at all of us that way. And it's no different with some of these prank channels that just really push it and push it and push it. 
and try to just get the, the craziest reaction out of people because they're like, well, it's going to get me some views. It's just, I don't know. It's really pathetic in, in all honesty. It's, it's really pathetic. And don't get me wrong. Doing content like this where I discuss things or reaction content, it's extremely lowbrow content. I'm not even going to doubt that. Not even one bit. I enjoy doing music reactions. I like talking about the topics or breaking down bars at times. But is that like a talent or anything like that? No, I just, I've rapped a lot of my life. So I understand what I'm talking about and I can share that with you guys. But it's not the same as someone like a Mr. Beast or some of these people that are really, really putting work into their content. So I'm not sitting here on some pedestal like, yo, what I do is so much better. But at least I'm not harassing people. Like I'm trying to give people entertainment in, in a in a simplified way, but in a way that's not it's not it's not bothering anybody. It's crazy to think that you get this mentality that this is okay, and it, and and we're in an era where like you can't really do much about it. I'm not saying that we we need to. I'm not trying to you know say that anything should happen to these kids. But all I know is when I was a kid, I would have got the shit slapped out of me. Not only by the people that I was doing this to, but by my parents. Like it wouldn't it wouldn't have went down. I'd have got the wooden spoon. Shit would have happened. You know what I'm saying? So. These kids are just like, they grow up with this mentality that like they're untouchable and that they could just do whatever they want. And there's other clips I'm not going to show because I don't know if it'll be like good for YouTube, but like they start to get in a fight with this other kid and they almost like kind of jump him. It's just wild. This kid goes on to smoke weed and he's like 14. So that clip actually happened right before he got the confrontation with this lady and he's smoking it. And, and that was where you saw a clip in the very beginning where he says anything for the views, anything for the views. What is chat saying? Like, it, it's just like, Oh, it's so pathetic. It's just so pathetic. But this is the direction that we've been moving in. And I don't know if it's ever going to change unless these platforms decide to take a step and start to like ban all of these people permanently and not like oh, two day ban, three day. But so they can just come back and do the same thing, but a little bit dialed down so they don't break a TOS or something like that. It's just it's I don't know. It, it, it's really upsetting from the standpoint of somebody else who creates content, somebody else who streams and does stuff like that. And again, I don't IRL stream. Maybe one day I'll give it a shot, but it's never going to be anything like that. And if you're here and you're a part of the younger generation, I'm not shitting on you because I know it's not everybody. I don't like when people blanket an entire group of people based on a few people that you see. But you have to even admit that there's some people amongst your generation that like y'all are wildin', like actually wildin'. And I mean, I, I had my fun when I was young. Where I, I did a lot of crazy shit, but I, I feel like there was limits to it. Like it never went this far and it was never for views. That pushes people to continue to do it because they do this, their clip gets millions and millions of views. Like I guarantee you, this kid is not sitting home because he got banned on kick, looking at all these viral tweets of his where, where people are talking about the clips and everything and thinking, wow, I got to change who I am. He's thinking, hell yeah, we did it. Oh, we're, we're going to come back even bigger than ever. Like that's what they're thinking right now. And, and people are going to fuel that by going into his chat, continuing to watch him, and continuing to help him make money. So I, I don't have an answer for it, but I just wanted to talk about this because I feel like this shit is crazy. And I've thought about talking about it a few times when it came to, like, prank channels. There was that one guy who got shot not that long ago. That's going to happen to some of these kids. I don't condone it because I don't want to see anybody lose their life. But I'm just, as a warning, like, that's something that potentially is going to happen. You're going to mess with the wrong person one day. And it's not going to go well for you. But as of right now, people think that it's okay because, well, I, I got my bodyguard with me, right? Like Neon. Neon goes around and he'll be a dick to people and say some of the wildest shit because he's like, well, my bodyguard will step up for me. Like Jack Doherty's bodyguard knocked some kid clean out. Like clean out. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was, I laughed a little bit when I saw the clip, but it's wrong, though. It's not something that should be happening. And, and these kids, you know, they go around like he had the, the chest out walking, bumping people and stuff. And as soon as someone turned around to be like, yo, what's your problem? His, his bodyguard would step in and, and, and back that person down. And it's like, yo, the bodyguards is what they got to stop taking these jobs. I get that it's money and you just want to pay your family and all this other stuff. And, and, and so for you, it's like, it is what it is. I got to make my bread. I get that. But we got to we got to find a way to, to turn this shit off, bro. This, this shit, this is not it. So I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it. I had a lot going on today. I'm, I'm angry with Charlie because Charlie got his video up before me. I wanted to get my video up first. I knew that this was going to be something people talked about, and I felt like I needed to talk about it because I just had some venting that I had to do. But my man got his up first, so I'm going to have to go watch his after this. I didn't want to be influenced by anything he said, but that's my guy. Love to hear his commentary. But anyways, let me know what you guys thought. If you're new here, smash that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm going to be talking about things on a regular basis. Might be a little vlog going up in the next week or so because I'm going to go make a trip to Ohio, make some music. And, you know, not do what these kids do. I promise you that. There's not going to be no harassing people. But maybe it'll be a little bit of fun to check out. So appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll catch you in the next one, homies.